Good evening, Americans, and welcome to The Ed Show live from New York. Democrats, help the unemployed vote no. Let's get to work. I am happy to report uh, that Senator Murray and I have reached an agreement. It also sidestepped dealing with the crisis facing 1.3 million Americans. Deal? What type of witchcraft is this? Republicans have their sights set now on ending long-term unemployment benefits. She's been out of work since January and joined the ranks of the long-term unemployed last summer. Now that economic lifeline is in jeopardy. I send out at least 25 resumes a day. At least. When you allow people to be on unemployment insurance for 99 weeks, you're causing them to become part of this perpetual unemployed. I was greedy and foolish, and now I'm left with no one, wrinkled and alone. Republicans are on a mission to take and make poor people even more poor two weeks before Christmas. Well, come on, what do you want? A snot rag? He's a working family struggling to keep their heads above water. They got ice in their veins. It's all about the money, boys. And of course, we certainly don't want to raise the minimum wage. Merry Christmas. Good to have you with us tonight, folks. Thanks for watching. You know, in every deal, there are winners and there are losers. Whether it be business, whether it be politics, whether it be hunting. You know, some guys come, they go out and get skunked, you know. This guy, he just got muzzled big time. Let me tell you about this deal that the House is about ready to vote on. I advocate a no vote, and I'll tell you why. First of all, when you do a deal, you don't go home bragging about it. And notice how both Patty Murray and Paul Ryan have come out and basically said the same things. But behind closed doors, I guarantee you the Republicans are thinking they just took the Democrats to the cleaners. If they can just get a yes vote in the House on this budget. Because you see, this guy right here has been a problem for the Republicans. And if they can get a budget deal for the next two years where the budget's not an issue, they're not going to have any more shut down politics. So what happened here is that the Republicans are getting shut down protection. They're getting circus protection because they have disarmed the rogue senator from Texas, Ted Cruz. Here is the bottom line. The Republicans are going to be able to go home and say, guaranteed there's not going to be a shutdown the next couple of years. Actually, that's good for us because we can't be blamed anymore. The last shutdown we did, that wasn't a good deal for us. So they've got election protection. They don't need this guy going off on the rails before the midterms, or do they want to send a presidential candidate out on the road having to talk about shutdown politics? This was a protectionary measure for the Republicans. The next thing they're going to be able to do is go home and say, we didn't raise your taxes. They're also going to be able to go to their corporate donors and say, we protected your loopholes. That's all they need. This is a grand bargain for the Republicans. They got exactly what they want to win the next election. The table is set for them. They don't have any major problems coming up. They can go back to obstructing Obama. Democrats... What you need to do is make them bring something to the table. And on this deal, they have to bring unemployment benefits. You see, there's a real cultural difference here. This guy, he wants to win elections. The Republicans want to win elections. The Democrats, they'd like to have a budget. And they're at the point where they do just about anything to get it. In fact, they would kick those unemployed people under the bus and say, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, we got this, we got, no, you didn't. No. You are going to let the Republicans go home damn near scot-free with a ton of bullet points to tell their people why they should be reelected. Well, I didn't raise your taxes. Well, we got the tax code the way we want it. And oh, by the way, we can guarantee we're not going to shut down the government anymore. So what do the Democrats have to do? They have to go home and explain why they're going to let 1.3 million people go off the unemployment rolls when they've been looking for a job for over 99 weeks. Qualified people, people in their 50s. You know, there's some age discrimination going on around this country right now. Oh, you're overqualified? That's really not the MBA we were looking for.